Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Subnautica Season 2. Okay, we are back, and I've been doing a bunch of gathering of supplies and everything, and I was going along fine, and I get the alert that the Aurora is about to blow up. So we're going to sit here and watch the explosion real quick. I made sure to save just before it happened, and there it goes. Nice big explosion. Wow, look at that. Looks so much better with a really good graphics card. So, we have <laughs> watched our big ship blow up, and now I'm getting radiation warnings. I've got the radiation suit, and fortunately I did have enough time to get uh, get some stuff made during the week. I managed to get to the high capacity O2 tank, which has unlocked the rebreather and now what I'm trying to do is find some more silver ore which is being difficult I let's just say it's being difficult easiest way to put it like I said oh ah, get away from me like I said it gave me the alert the Aurora was about to blow up so I want to make sure to let y'all see it and hey mr. stalker come back here if you're gonna bother me then I'm gonna scan you uh quit quit Oh, he's playing with me. Oh, how cute. Not really. You're kind of ugly. There's Snaggletooth as well. All right. So he's just, he's playing games with his, you know, bit of, you know, metal salvage. And we just found one of the mobile vehicle bay fragments, which is something I need to bind everything for. Uh, another sea glide fragment. That's all right. I'll get some titanium. But yeah, I need I need to find the mobile vehicle bay fragment so I can actually build it because without it, I cannot build a sea moth. I cannot build a prawn suit. I cannot build the cyclops, which is the goal here anyway. Oh, I didn't even scan those yet. There we go. All right, let's see. Look around, see if there's any more random boxes strewn around. Not, well, there's some over here. I have also found a single fragment for a grav bomb, which is interesting. I don't think I'm gonna actually use it. All right, and we've unlocked the beacon. Hey, another sea glide fragment. So yeah, that's how easy you can actually find the sea glide in some cases. Grav trap, there we go. Not grav bomb, grav trap. So now I've got the blueprint for the grab trap. Okay. Might have to try that out a little bit. See how that works. And as you can see over there, I have not gone to the signal point yet. Because, again, I wanted to wait. Save it for y'all to watch. Have everybody enjoying the fun. But I do need some more silver ore. And let me see. Yeah, I've just got one silver ore. I need one more piece of silver ore. So I can make the rebreather, which will help. When I go below, I think it's um, 100, 100 meters down at that point, it makes it where I uh, don't lose my O2 as quickly. And combined with the high capacity O2 tank, that's going to be really useful. So I'm hoping to hurry up and get it. That way my deeper dives will be easier. And then we're going to start looking for some of the Cyclops fragments as well as maybe the Seamoth fragments. As much as I would like to skip the sea moth, I think it's going to prove useful in some cases for getting some other stuff. Oh, you, you jerk. Ah, oh, that one did not want to play with me. Okay, so right now what I'm using the silver ore to make is the wiring kit, which will give me access to the rebreather. We also now have the radiation suit. Which is going to be useful because we do need to get into the Aurora. And when I create the suit, it'll create the whole thing. Uh, so we need some fiber mesh. And for fiber mesh, that is creepvine sample. So I need four of them. That's going to take up a bit of room in my inventory. And I, I still need to do some more stuff. Let's go ahead and grab some of this nice titanium. And where is it? I've got three pieces of lead, I think. I can, that means I can make one more foundation. <laughs> and we do need to head back towards the Aurora anyway, towards my base area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head towards the base. 
No wonder I couldn't find it. Something is uh, changed. Because this was a big plateau thing right here. Something has completely changed on this. Where where's my plateau? I I don't see like I haven't seen like a full fledged update yet. I've seen, you know, they updated something. I didn't see anything since then. It's just like a little thing about a live stream. Is it already like they changed something? Cause this is I noticed the map looked different in a way, and apparently it is. Like, I've got foundation just floating here where there was a plateau, where my previous base was set in my original survival game. And there we go. All right, I am short one piece of lead. That'll give me four pieces of foundation. That's plenty big enough right now to get me going, and... All right, back to the uh, the vehicles. I definitely think I'm gonna get a sea moth. Look at that! It's it's there. It's just not rendering it for some reason. It's glitching. Oh, I got gold. All right, so that's weird. So, yes, I think I will get the sea moth just to use temporarily because it'll take me out to the floating island, which again I've. I said first episode of this, this is going to be a lot of spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers, go ahead and, you know, watch something else on the channel. But, I think I want to take the sea moth, use it to go out to the floating island, because I, at least, I need to get a base going before I do anything off that island, because they've got the food supplies there, the plants and stuff that I need to be able to grow, and to be able to use that properly, I need to be able to actually... You know, get all that stuff and bring it back and plant it in time before the uh, cuttings, the seeds and such, spoil. So, I want to wait about heading that way, but as soon as I can get something good going, that is the direction I'm heading next. Is to the floating island so I can get some of the stuff from the uh, abandoned base there. Which will help me out. It's a lot of stuff to scan there. And... I need more lead. <laughs> I, I need batteries. I, I'm going to head back and uh, make use of the fabricator. See what I can come up with now. Bam! There we go. Mobile vehicle bay. So I've got the way to make the vehicles now. So that's covered. I'll just have to fabricate one and then carry it around. The problem is having the room for it. I also went ahead. I made some more batteries. I don't like doing it because I know a good place to find batteries for pretty, you know, easy uh, and large quantity as well. So I didn't want to do too much on that. But I went ahead and made a battery so I can use my sea glide. Because <laughs> that's just so much easier to get around than re regular swimming. So we have the basic of the foundation. This is kind of where I want to go with it. Uh, we'll just start. Eh, eh, there, we'll just do that. Right there like that. One hatch real quick, which I, I think, wait a second, I need some quartz or titanium. I need titanium. Oh, and of course my big supply of titanium is back over there. All right, I've got a little bit of power <laughs> and I've got my base. Welcome to my humble new abode. Look at all this. All this room for activities. Ah, oh, I can do so much. I can like, I can do laps all around the place. Look at that. I can uh, do jumping jacks. And I can uh, go back outside. <laughs> Alright, so we've got something. It'll look better when I get like the multi-purpose room and everything. But for now, this will work. I think I want to go ahead and put... A tea compartment like that there and of course I am short titanium again before I had too much titanium now I don't have enough okay so it's not much but it will work temporarily at least give me some place I can actually build some storage capabilities so I can't place wall lockers inside 
the support module. So what I can do is place them here. And yes, I need a bunch of titanium. I know that. Uh, this is all right. We're going to do this and I will go and snag a bunch of titanium, snag some scrap, uh, it's a metal salvage. There, that gives me, that's five right there to start off. And that means I need 10 pieces of titanium, which there should be some metal salvage. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, you come back here. Give me that. Never mind. I will steal your other piece of salvage. How about that? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. He wants it back. So you don't have room? No, I don't have any room. So I'm dumb. I just realized that I forgot to deploy my beacon and label this. So yeah, there we go. Uh, base one. So only be the. You no, know, only base, so I really don't need to name it one anyway. Alright, let's get my habitat builder going again. And let's get some of these wall lockers built now. So I actually have some storage capacity. That's one thing. I wish they had fixed this, because as soon as you were done building it, if you're looking at the wrong spot, it automatically, when you release the mouse button, opens the locker. And I really wish it would not do that. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. All right. I don't need any cave sulfur. I've got lubricant, which is going to be useful because I need it for the mobile vehicle bay. Also have some titanium ingots back there. I need those. And we're going to drop the gold in because I don't need that. I am going to build a fabricator here as well at some point. Might as well go ahead and try to set that up. We'll do it right there. So titanium gold, which I have some gold there, and a table coral sample, right? Yes. So more titanium for this. I need table coral sample, which is, you know, right over here, just any place I can find it. And that will get me a fabricator there. And then we need to do a radiation suit. I need a radiation suit so I can go closer to the Aurora and not have a problem doing so. Oh, the, uh, the radiation is getting worse now. It's now all the way to my base, which is good thing that I have the fabricator done now. So let's see. I, I don't want to rely on just this because I have two of them, but let's see. What do I need? I need the radiation suit. We need the radiation suit. I need fiber mesh and lead. I'm not sure if I have all the lead I need. Oh, and I know I need some silicon rubber to make the mobile vehicle bay as well for that. So, let's see. I've got one piece of lead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have any more lead. Oh, and it's having a bad effect on me. Yep, there it goes. So, fiber mesh. Do I have enough room? I do not. Let's go ahead and use that up. And, uh, I didn't use all the titanium up I needed to use. Let's see. All right, here we go. One, two, right, no, oh, that was one. Yep, yeah, okay, just gave me one. Three, ah, uh, my inventory's full. Okay, how about this? Let's use the new fabricator to make one piece real quick. Then I can head back to the other ones in safety away from the uh, radiation for now until I can get my radiation suit put on. Oh, I'll be so glad to get that done. There we go. Well, it didn't work out. I ended up having one of my creep vine samples expire for some reason that quickly. So we're just going to go ahead and let's see. I need my titanium ingot, which I have two of those because I had so much titanium I just went ahead and made some so there we go mobile vehicle bay on the way means now let's go drop it off in storage at the other location and uh yeah go get some more creep fine samples so I can make lubricant or uh fiber mesh and make my radiation suit so I've got that 
Uh, we'll go ahead and dump some of this here for now. Just so I can come back and get it. Actually, yeah, I got enough room. We'll go ahead and grab some on the way. And I don't want to release the vehicle bay yet. I don't have anything I can make with it. What's the point of telling me to release it if I don't have anything to make with it yet? Speed build a radiation suit for me, please. Uh, oh, there, there. Oh, wait, I still need lead. That's right. Ah. Uh. All right, I guess I'm going back this way because I'm not looking for lead out there while I'm being irradiated. Okay, so it took me forever to find some lead, but I finally did. So we are going to make the radiation suit here back at the survival life pod. And yes, it's already applied. Thank you. I just need to swap that out. I'll put the rebreather up for now because until I set everything up fine in the Aurora, I don't want to worry about it. So, yeah, I've got those batteries I'm keeping. I don't need flares. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move some of this. I'll make some more wall lockers now. That's going to be the big thing. So, I've got a fabricator over there. I've got my radiation suit on, so I don't have to worry about the radiation. Uh, the Aurora is blown up, but I do not want to go over that way yet without either the Cyclops or at least the Sea Moth because there'll be so many things I'll be getting and having to bring back. So many scans I'll be getting and they'll end up being extras. I don't want to have to go through the whole thing of going way out there, going through it again and again to get a little bit further each time and then have to come back because my inventory is full. It's already bad enough having to go in and out just to come back to either the Sea Moth or the Cyclops. So, I'm going to wait till I have the, at least one of those that I can use. So, yeah, I'm just going to toss stuff in right now. Actually, you know, let's keep that out for the moment. Throw this stuff in. I'm just going to fill up things in here with supplies. Random mitts. Not even worried about how it's going to look at the moment. I am going to put a wall locker here specifically for tools like those. There you go. Now I'm done. I've got that going. Uh, putting our wall locker here. I'm just going to fill this thing up. You know, even if I don't get any further than this, this is fine. I've got space to put in wall lockers. I've got my fabricator. And once all this is done, once I have the Cyclops, all I have to do is go through here and disassemble all of these. To put them on the Cyclops afterwards. I mean, I'll have I'll be using up power to do so, but at least I'll have all these wall lockers ready to go onto the Cyclops. And all I have to do is start moving them over, then move all the stuff I actually have saved in them there. And it won't take long for me to get the Cyclops up and ready to go and function as the permanent base solution once I actually have it. Now that I have the ability to build it I'm gonna to have to go and actually find all the stuff for it and that's gonna be a pretty time-consuming little task I think I actually will end up being better off doing that with the sea moth so that I don't have to keep swimming so far up for air so yeah I may be just go ahead and get the sea moth anyway despite the fact I really do not plan to use it for very long term it'll probably be a little bit easier uh, for getting everything and I hate crash fish. Let me just go ahead and say that I am tired of those little guys now I do not need any of their sulfur powder. I just need them to stop trying to blow me up But that is it again for today's episode. Thanks for watching everybody If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button Also, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not done so already so you keep up with my stuff during the week uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the series so far. Are you liking it? Uh, is there anything you think I should go ahead and get next before getting to the Cyclops? Or should I go ahead and progress with my plan of action of getting the Sea Moth, then getting the Cyclops, and be pretty much moving as quickly as possible still towards the Cyclops? Again, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. As always, be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.